I'm at the Groundswell campus in Invermere, BC, and in this video we're going to talk about the five different ways that we capture, store, and utilize solar energy. The greenhouse is a passive solar greenhouse. We've got solar photovoltaics, solar thermal for collecting solar hot water, and we've got an annualized geosolar array which combined with an earth tube preheats and pre-cools the air in the winter and in the summer. So let's go inside and take a look at all these different energy systems and how they function together. I'm sitting in front of the earth tube that comes into the greenhouse. Now when the annualized geosolar system is in operation, in other words the fan is running, it creates a slight a slightly lower pressure inside of the greenhouse or a vacuum, a slight vacuum. Uh, and that lower pressure induces an air current to move through this earth tube. And I'm just, I've got my hand in front of this earth tube right now and there's actually air actively moving through this system. And this earth tube has two primary functions. So in the summertime, when the annualized geosolar array uh, or system is functioning, the air that travels through this 12-inch uh, earth tube is actually being pre-cooled. So it acts as a cooling mechanism for the greenhouse. All summer long though, as hot air is moving through this earth tube, it's actually preheating the ground on the outside of the greenhouse so that in the winter time when the AGS system runs, we will have preheated earth around the earth tube itself so the air moving through the earth tube will actually preheat in the winter time as well so it acts as a pre-cooler and a preheater and all an earth tube is is basically a chunk of pipe and it can be all sorts of various sizes and it's buried underground such that uh, it has less there's less impact um, during seasonal soil temperature swings so we can use earth tubes for both attaining cold energy or cool and heat energy or heat. So I'm standing right beside the outlet of the AGS system and that drone that you can likely hear in the film is actually the fan running through all the pipes underground. If I place my hand right over top of there there's cold air coming out, which means that the ground is extracting the heat from the air and storing it underground. Let's take a quick look inside and uh, we'll take a look at how warm the underground AGS core actually is. One of the best parts about the washroom at Groundswell Network Society campus is that you can go to the washroom and you can see what the AGS system is doing simultaneously. So these two temperature probes give us an indication of how warm the core in the AGS system is. Now typically, ground temperatures stay about four degrees Celsius when you go down six feet in this region. Um, but as you can see on this temperature probe right here, our AGS system at six feet down is already at 24 degrees Celsius. And we're only into June right now um, in the season. So by the time we reach September or October, this temperature will be quite a bit higher, and that is our energy storage that will allow the greenhouse to prevent itself from freezing in the middle of the winter. Uh, that's the technology that keeps the space at a great growing temperature year-round. The annualized geosolar system here at Groundswell has been in operation for six years, and we've been collecting data on the system for that period of time, and we can say with a high degree of certainty that it works exceedingly well. That concludes the energy systems here at the Groundswell campus. If you found that interesting, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because we'll be producing additional videos going forward. Ask any questions and please leave comments below the video. And check out our websites at vergepermaculture.ca and groundswell.ca.